Whether it's a hot summer night or you're just simply hot, here are ways to use fans to cool down both your house and you. This is Liz from Comfort Sleep Sanctuary. And as a bonus, stick around for tips on how to dust those ceiling fans. For more information, you can always check the links in the description below or go to our website, comfortsleepsanctuary.com. Fans by themselves don't actually cool the room you're in. They just make you feel cooler. The fast moving air helps dissipate heat off of your skin. If you're sweating, the air helps evaporate the sweat and we cool down through something called evaporative cooling. So if it's super hot, both outside and in, I'm sorry, but fans aren't really gonna do you much good. We may feel a degree or two cooler with a fan, and in some cases that's enough. But if it's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius, that's not gonna do much. However, if you live in a desert-like climate, which I do, it cools down pretty substantially at night. Unfortunately, your house has absorbed all that heat during the day, and it's gonna take a long time for it to let go of that heat probably all night. In the meantime, you have to get to sleep in your hot box of a house. When we go to sleep, our core body temperature drops and therefore we prefer to be in a lower temperature than we did even during the day. According to experts, that's around 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. That's around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that temperature is very individual. Some of you will like it a little lower, some of you will like it a little higher. Whatever works. The point is you cannot sleep in a hot room. Even if you do get to sleep, it's going to be low quality sleep, which means your mood and productivity is going to suffer. One option is to simply sleep outside in that cool night air. In many places, screened in sleeping porches are a thing. Another thing you can do is set up a tent in the backyard or a hammock, uh, but just remember the schedule for your sprinklers. But sleeping outside can be kind of a pain, sprinklers notwithstanding. You'd prefer to sleep in your comfy bed. How do we bring the cool night air indoors? My favorite solution is to use a whole house fan. Hey Google, turn on fan. Okay, turning fan on. It's very quiet. Can you hear it? Hey Google. Turn fan off. A whole house fan is a fan that lives in your attic. To cover your entire home, you may have multiple fans that cover different regions of your house. I actually have two. If you have a larger home, you might have three or four. The way a whole house fan works, it's in your attic and it's actually blowing air out of your house. What this does is it creates a negative pressure situation, kind of like a vacuum in the rest of the house. When you have a vacuum, it wants to pull air in. What you do is you crack open a window and the whole house fan will pull cool air through that window, up through the house and out. So this way you replace all that stale, hot daytime air with fresh, cool nighttime air. In this room, I have an intake that goes to the attic above my head, and then I crack my bedroom window back there. Air is pulled into my window and up to the intake and out. So I could shut my door in my bedroom and have one little system. That's one way of doing it. However, I prefer to cool down the entire house. So not only do I have my bedroom window cracked, but I also have a window on the other end of the house, my kitchen, so that I'm getting cool air circulating throughout my entire house. So if I know that it's gonna be super hot tomorrow, I want to pre-cool my house tonight. So I'm gonna turn on my whole house fan and try to turn my entire house into the equivalent of a refrigerator. Just as your home holds heat, it also resists heat. The next day, when it gets hot, my house takes longer to get hot. If you're not ready to invest in a whole house fan, you can do this on a much smaller scale with a window fan. Take your window fan 
and do the opposite of what the instructions say. Point it outside. Pick a window on the other end of your house, let's say the kitchen. You're going to point the window fan outside. That's going to create this negative pressure within your home. Then go into your bedroom. You're going to crack a window and now this fan on the other end of the house is going to pull air into your bedroom. Same principle applies. Although it's a smaller fan, so it's not going to be quite as powerful. You want to set up a few fans. My next favorite type of fan are ceiling fans. I have seven ceiling fans in a tiny three bedroom home. I don't have them in the bathrooms, however. Maybe I should add them. If it's very hot, they aren't going to do much, but they're good at supplementing other cooling systems. During the warmer months, I run them 24 seven. They are very energy efficient. When I have my whole house fan on, they help circulate that cool air and help exchange the hot air for the cool air that is coming in through the windows. Also, if I'm running my air conditioner, because the fans help me feel a little bit cooler, I can get away with maybe putting my thermostat up a little higher. So instead of 76 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe you can turn up your thermostat to 78 degrees and save a little bit of money on your air conditioning costs. Ceiling fans do get a little dusty and I have quite a few ceiling fans that I need to dust. It's actually quite easy. Take an old pillowcase. Better yet, if you happen to have a flannel cotton pillowcase, it works even better. Since I'm no longer sleeping on cotton, I have quite a few of these left. Very simple. One at a time, slip this over the blade until it's completely covered and then rub the sides and remove the pillowcase. All of the dust stays in your pillowcase. Then you just simply throw the whole thing in your laundry and you're done. You don't get dust on your head, you don't sneeze. To supplement this, you can always use a portable fan, this is a small version, and place it where you need it. Remember evaporative cooling? If you're wet, fans will help you cool down even more. Wet a bandana, place it around your neck, on your head, your wrists, or all of the above. Also, mist yourself often. The internet suggests placing a bowl of ice either in front or behind a fan. Obviously, the ice is going to melt at some point, but even before that happens, it's not particularly effective. Maybe you get a degree or two of coolness. A few years ago, I ordered a air conditioning unit for my garage. This unit actually worked on the same principle. It was basically a giant container that had a fan and a place to put a lot of ice. Let's just say I returned this air conditioning unit. How are you keeping cool this summer? If you'd like to learn more, check the links in the description below and look out for other videos on ways to sleep cool this summer. And as always, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Nighty night.